Alright, alright, hey guys, welcome back to the Underground. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this massive sale on PSN right now. Tons of games, it's the holiday uh, sale. And um, the purpose of this, we're going to be checking out mostly the hidden gems, the best deals. I've got some games lined up from this that I think are worth a look. Most of them are under 10 bucks. Um, some even under five bucks and just really really good deals and I uh, want to show off some gameplay for them that you may not be uh, Aware of some of these titles that I think uh, really deserve at least a look at least um, a look and some attention to some degree uh, Let me go ahead and get things started. All right, let's do this. It is time Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, we're gonna be starting with space pirate trainer uh, currently is 749. I think that's a, a pretty excellent price, but I'll say so myself. Um, let me just check the stream one last thing on the stream, make sure uh, everything is good here. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. All right. Without further ado, let's begin. What up, genetic blasphemy? Thank you. Dan V, what is up guys, let's do this. Gaming Gleep, what is good y'all. James Moore, there you are. All of you guys pouring in at once. I was worried for a second, I was like, am I alive? <laughs> and then look at that, just crashed. All right, so let's have some fun here. We're gonna play the arcade, three lives. What up Darth Vader, surprise. What up Eric? So this game is, what up gamers in? This game's kind of like the, uh, the godfather of of uh, these types of games. We're gonna have our sword shield here. Uh, let's see. I'm playing Blood and Truth. Hell yeah, it's a fantastic game. What up, Hunter? What is up, everybody, man? Hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be covering a lot of the hidden gems today. Um, some really, really awesome games on sale that uh, you may not be very aware of. This is Space Pirate Trainer. This game is a lot of fun. Uh, actually has more than I thought uh, originally had. Um, whoa. Yeah. What up, Johnny Moles? Uh, what up, Seymour? Space Pirate Trainer. Let's go. What up, Ryan? Oh. This game, this game is basically like a Star Lord simulator. Like this is like where where Star Lord goes to train. <laughs> Makes it feel like Star Lord. It's pretty sweet. Whoa, dodge! Let's do this. Ryan, what's up, man? Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, I love uh, some of the mechanics in this game. Uh, I like how it like kind of slows down, gives you a second, a chance to like defend yourself and stuff, or dodge if you need to. This game's great, man. Uh, we got a whole list of games we're gonna be checking out. Oh snap, that was close. Um, get him, get him, turret. Yes. Let's go. Good stuff, man. Uh, but yeah, whole list of games we're gonna be checking out. Lots of good stuff here on sale. Uh, whoa! What up, No Man's Planet? Oh, uh, we just, we've only just started. Holy crap. Whoa. Lots of dodging. You do need a little bit of space for this game for the best experience. Um, just enough room to like dodge and stuff. Uh, so you also have these things. Game audio is a little loud. Okay. Can I, can I pause it here? Okay, hold on. I'll fix that in a second. Sweet. I've got Witching Tower. Uh, Witching Tower is planned. Uh, what up, man? Yes, just peace VR. Nice. Oh, that's 
that good. Oh my god. This game is actually just naturally really loud. There's no, there's no option to, uh, whoa! There's no option to uh, turn it down, it seems. Oh. I'll get that fixed in a second, though. Oh, man. Ugh. So badass, though. Lots of, lots of games in the library that I think are a little underappreciated. Okay, let's see if I can do this really quick. Really quick. Uh. Oh, shit. Alright. Let's see if I got... Did I... Ugh. Okay, I turned it down a little bit more. Let me know if that's better. Oh, snap. Lost my shield there. Okay, hopefully the volume's a little bit better. If it needs to go up a little bit, let me know. I just ran over to my computer <laughs> real quick. I don't... Uh, I did get hit during trying to do that, too. Uh, this is... Thank you. This is different than Blasters uh, in many ways. Um, it, it... I guess... It, it definitely, from a style... Like, style-wise, this is much different. Uh, and you can switch through lots of different types of guns. Whoa! And like I said, this has the shield, which makes it kind of unique. Lots of cool dodging mechanics. Oh. I hate that I took that hit already. Uh. Oh. oh, something hit me. Shotgun. Whoa. This is craziness. Too bad you can't shoot the bullets back at him. Oh, yes, let's go. All right. We're going to... Uh, we're going to do this real quick. <laughs> okay, you've also got these tools that you can use. Sweet, thank you. Um, come on, get him. Get him. Uh, I've also got a turret back here somewhere. Where's my turret? There it is. Uh, oh, you can reflect bullets with the laser sword thing? Cool. Uh, I can't remember how to use it properly. Alright, that's okay. Because we're just going to mess him up. The old faster way with bullets and lasers, I should say. Almost got him. Almost got him. Boom. Alright. Now shit's gonna be crazy. Oh! What up, El Romeo? Going to be, I'm sure Bell Rami is excited. We're going to be taking a look at Operencia, the Stolen Sun, as well. Um, got some cool fights coming on that to take a look at, show off some gameplay. Just want to make sure everybody's aware of all these like really cool games. And uh, you know, if there's something on the sale that you're interested in uh, and want to see gameplay, let me know. I'll do, I'll do a couple requests as well. But I, I'm really going to try to stick to the like hidden gem kind of games um, or lesser known games. Like if it's like Star Wars Squadrons, it's like everybody knows Star Wars Squadrons is good. You should already have that. <laughs> um, this is more for the games that you may not be as familiar with. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Sweet. What? Oh, shit. Holy crap. This is just craziness. Ah, oh, hit me. What up, Clark? Uh, this is PSVR. Uh, let's see, AJ. All right, I'm going to do one more run of this, and then we're going to move on to the next game. Um, Want to just take my time with some of these, have fun with them. Remember, $5. Nick the Game Cat, how? Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I enjoy making content. Um, 
Yeah, man. Uh, let's see. What is it? Explorer? Okay, this has a health regen. Let's see what Explorer is. Um, there's actually another level to this. This level looks great. It looks amazing. But I do want to see another one. What up, Delirium Drew? Legend, indeed. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> Uh, I have expressed greatly how much I like Operencia, and I think 15 bucks for a 30 hour VR game is uh, a 30 plus hour VR game uh, is pretty awesome. I, I, uh, I do want to try to figure out how do I operate these turrets. There we go. Now I've got it. Boom. There we go. Okay, how do I... Am I aiming it with... Yeah, look at this. Sh I'm controlling that turret over here with this whip thing. There's a, there's a lot of really cool mechanics in this game, like I said, that make it really worth your time. <laughs> you must whip it when a robot comes along. You must whip it. All right, back to the gun. Uh, it also does, it does like a, a laser. Boom. <laughs> the jokes are welcome, man. Tell all the jokes you want. Uh, the music in this game is really cool, too. Get overwhelmed with long games, huh? Whoa. 550 for Bell Ramio! The code opera. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I will, uh... I will absolutely go to Uprenzia next. You're sprinkling! <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of tees. Okay, maybe maybe a couple less tees would have been fine. <laughs> Bell Rami with you. Yeah, Operancy is awesome, man. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at some other games too, like uh, uh, Espire 1. Um, I think Espire 1 at this price is, is pretty damn good. Uh, especially after all the updates. Mako, what's up, my dude? Holy shit. Oh my god, help me, Mako. Whoa. Intense shooter, man. Really? I mean, this game's not, like, super intense, but it's it, it can be, I guess. Like, it's not stressful or anything. It just, uh, it gets pretty wild here. Uh, let's, what other guns can we try out? <laughs> no worries, man. It was worth it. Ugh. I don't know what that gold medal thing does, but I, but it makes me feel like I did something right. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you, Twister. Twitcher. Twister. Now you're going to have to change your name to Twister. Ugh. Yeah, that warning system is really cool. But yeah, man, like I said, you know, we're going to be doing, we're multitasking here. We're going to be hanging out, shooting the shit together. Whoa. Um, just having some fun chatting with you guys while we take a look at some of these games and I show them off. So unlike a Saturday Night Live stream, uh, there's really no rush here. We're going to really explore all these games as much as we can and, and just have some fun. Uh, I'd really like to unlock the second level in this game. I... I I actually didn't even know there was a second level for the longest time. Uh, there's also like skins you can unlock for the guns, so that's pretty cool. Huh. Interesting. I mean, it's yeah, it's not that uh, it's not too difficult to stream. Uh, you just really just as long as you have the right equipment. Plus. 
you should be able to stream from the PS4 or PS5 directly. What in God's name is going on here? I don't know what just happened, but there was a lot of parts flying over me. Woo! Alright, another shield deployed. Oh, yes, turret. I love that turret. Oh, it hit me. Bastard. Turret's, turret didn't do enough for me. Oh, I shot my turret. It bounced off of it. Whoa. Yeah, there's only two levels, I mean, but this level is sweet as hell, though. I'm not gonna... It's it's more about the combat in this game, the combat, the the arcade style thing. Like I said, this is funny enough. This is one of the very first wave shooters, and this is like one of the best ones. Um, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, son of a... Oh, uh, a Borderlands stream? Um, yeah, I, I might actually do it sooner than Christmas. Uh, I might do it Christmas Eve, but yeah, Borderlands Christmas stream is happening this week for sure. And I'm pretty excited about that. Holy crap. Ugh! Ugh! I think you really just have to protect your head here. I don't think you have to worry about the body too much. Whoa! Ah. Oh my god! Craziness! But that little slow motion, how it does that, that really makes it... That adds an awesome mechanic to this game, allowing you to dodge and stuff. Boom! What is this? It, it makes it like a little bit more, it makes it a little bit nice in the gameplay department. What's up, Charlie Fisk? Not that much, Holmes. Oh my god, there's a lot of these. What the hell was that? Oh, I'm glad I heard that last second. Good spatial audio, because uh, I was able to hear that because of the spatial audio. Here, here, when certain enemies are coming. Let's get it. Uh, whoa. Oh, something hit me. <laughs> oh shit. Oh hell yeah man. Thank you, No Man's Planet. I I imagine uh I imagine you are a fan of uh Whoa. I imagine you're a fan of No Man's Sky, which is maybe how you found me, man. I love No Man's Sky. I've done all the streams on there. I don't have, no, I don't use Twitch, I'm only on YouTube. Oh god, this shit's getting more intense. Go down, son. Nice. I haven't done this explorer mode before. Um, this is nice how you kind of regen health. Definitely makes it, uh... Whoa. Come on, get him. Definitely makes it a little nicer having the health regen. I've been doing, like, the hardcore mode mostly. And this is, uh, this feels really nice in comparison. Not as hardcore. I mean, it's still pretty wild. I don't know what these, oh, it's a shield. I see, I see. But yeah, I love how there's like random stuff flying around, like this ship flying in the air. That's sweet. This is good stuff though, man. This is good. Seven. Oh, that counted as a hit. Okay. Uh, Charlie, this is Space Pirate Trainer, currently on sale for uh, $7.49. Oh. $7.49. Damn, it got me. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, yeah, Space Pirate Trainer, badass game, man. Um, I'd like to play some more, but um, I think we're going to move on to the next game just to keep keep it fresh we got a lot of games to cover all right thank you so much mark hope you're doing well man hope all of you guys are doing well it is operencia time but 749 cannot recommend that game enough for being under ten dollars uh operencia is 14.99 right now that's what we're going to check out next let me get some water 
<laughs> Gotta stay hydrated here. Um, and uh, I, you know, as a fan of uh, classic dungeon crawlers and stuff, this is easily the best dungeon crawler that we have on PSVR. Uh, 30 hour game. Uh, at least it took me about 30 hours. Hell yeah, Mark. Great, man. Great, great. Um, exciting, uh, exciting week this week with Christmas coming on. Coming up. Um, all right. Five dollars, David Moore. <laughs> good games. Good games. Request for good games, David Moore. I'm trying to show the hidden gems, trying to, you know, show off some of the amazing games that, you know, you may not have heard about, so. And I think games like Stunt Kite Master, you don't need to hear about. <laughs> um, so we're going to be doing something interesting here. I'm taking you through a part. I'm at the final boss in this game, but that's not what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be starting from a unique point. Uh, we're going to be doing an optional fight in here that I need to, uh, I need to be <laughs> high quality HO. I need to get to this part in order to, uh, I, I, I need to level up before I can kill the boss. Um, so we're going to kind of do this together, but this game has so much variety to it. Now I haven't played this in a minute, so hopefully I'm not like God awful at this. Um, Probably going to have some enemy encounters that will help me catch up. Um, Dread Halls is not on sale, thank God. <laughs> you have to you have to wait till Saturday. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you. I bought the Doctor Who game, and I was not crazy about it. Um, but, you know, let's see here. Okay. Okay, so this is likely the place where I think I need to use... This is a puzzle here, but I think I can use one of my special abilities here. So I've got all these special abilities. Um, green feather enables you to push and pull. No. That's a rebuild thing. Artifacts, boots, nimble boots. This is what we want. Um, now we use it with square. We got time slowed down. Otherwise, these platforms would be falling. Oh, upper left corner of the map. Okay. Okay, this is the wrong place. Oh, okay. I've already... This usually would be a puzzle that you had to walk across. Yep, uh, yep. I see that. I'm... D this is the fun of... Uh, who's there, Hunter? Um, this is the fun part of this game. I mean, there is... There's a lot of exploration to this. And, and like I said, you know, this... Th like, some of this I'm kind of figuring out on stream so you can kind of see what... What this game is like to some bit, uh, a bit. Um, okay. Word, word. Oh, cool, man. Sweet, sweet. Uh, let's see, we're exploring here. I love the art style of this game. Um, you know, some people were turned off because this is uh, DualShock only. But, man. Uh, oh. Okay, okay, good. I'm, it seems like you're going the right way. Over the broken bridge. Okay. Once we get into a... I, I, I would imagine there's something to fight. Oh, yeah. I see an enemy over there. Over the broken bridge. What up, chill brains? Is that the... That looks like a broken bridge to me. What is this? It's a key? Okay, uh, how am I, Bell, how do I get over the broken bridge? I didn't read the walkthrough, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, okay, I know. It should be the the hammer. This, uh, this is an artifact. You pick up, like, different items in the game. Boom. Button left. Look at that. Look how cool this freaking game is, man, I swear. We're gonna get into, um fight here. I haven't played this in a minute, so I am kind of remembering some of this stuff. Let's get into a fight. Okay, we got the ambush here. Alright. Okay, so it is like turn-based. I love turn-based games. I wouldn't want, like, always want a turn-based game, but 
We're gonna burn and they're gonna freeze and burn them. And how about some thunder? <laughs> By the way, let me know if I could turn up the game audio at all. I know I had it turned down for the last game. Uh, if I need to turn this game audio up, let me know. Uh, this is uh, Operencia, fourteen ninety nine right now. Cannot recommend this game enough. I freaking love this game. I have thirty hours, over thirty hours in this game. Uh, okay, watching my team. Seems like I'm okay here. Um, let's do a let's uh, lightning zap this guy. <laughs> Thunder. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. A dragon with three heads. Okay. I opened, I pushed a button. Hopefully I was supposed to push that button. So what I did was I came back to this area. See, I love the art style in this game. Um, I, I came back to this area. Oh, there's like some story stuff going on. Okay, there's one dragon head. With an item that I obtained and was able to get past another part. made no secret of his fascination very interesting so long as the what dragons the hide their oh. own fascinating secrets okay so i'm supposed to follow this is a puzzle in this game we all know how much i love puzzle games uh no i actually did like a lot of the puzzles minus the minus like one or two puzzles in this game i actually really liked it and this game really makes you like think like a whole bunch with the combat too okay it's three throats it's three throats Three throats with three heads. Um, okay. Let's see here. This is interesting. Let me see what you uh, what you said too. Look at this though. This looks so cool. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm looking at this. Uh, I'm gonna have to cheat a little and use this guide. Okay, go to the body and follow each throat one by one. Okay. So, is that a body? Let's see. Let's follow these. Where's the body? Oh, okay. There's That's definitely the body. Okay. So, follow each one by one. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Go this way. I see now. I see. Oh, and then bam. We'll never make it. It closes too quick. Okay. Okay. I think I get it now. I have to push the button and use the boots. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, I will take one a look at that in just one second. Yep, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I think it changed, though. Did it change? Or did I get it? No. Doors open. Boom, we made it. All right, sweet. Now we can undo this. Uh, I'm going to pull up my phone, too. This game is just, ah, just classic dungeon crawling goodness, man. So badass, this game is. Seriously such a fan of it. Um, I think it was worth the full price, depending, unless it's just not your thing. Uh, it definitely was, like, felt, like, worth full price to me because it's 30 hours long. Um, bringing up my uh, my stream here so I can make sure I get these comments. The other two walls have chests behind them. Oh, the other two walls have chests behind them. Interesting. Hey, Jay, I was playing Saints of Sinners today, and there was one glitch where his name on the radio keeps telling you to go to bed. It's my second time playing. Um, you, you might have to... The worst VR game. I, I was thinking about doing a worst list. For Saints and Sinners, um, you might have to do more of the story or something. Um, oh, snap. Here we go. Do I need to heal it all? No, I think I think we're good here. Or is this guy? You might, you might be missing something, Charlie, that you have to do. Okay, what is this? Uh, 
Yeah, or go to sleep in the back of bus is definitely what it sounds like. Is this a boss fight? Seems like this is a boss fight. I think this is the Rat King, and apparently he gives us something. Um, there's lots of optional bosses in this game. Optional fights, optional bosses. <laughs> okay, we got all these lit. Look at the torches. Yeah, it's something you have to do. Okay, light the right ones. Okay. Thank God I have you here, Bell. <laughs> I, I usually would, like, figure this stuff out on my own, but because I'm, I'm doing this on stream, I'm definitely accepting help from Bell. <laughs> At the ceiling? What? Oh, wow. Okay. That's See, that's crazy. You would have been in here like, how do I know? Uh, that's nuts. I remember... Um... Let's see here. Yeah, I think I got this here. Yet I really haven't heard of too many glitches in SNS. You could ask Gamer Chick in the Discord. I heard something there. Oh, yep, and it opened. This game is crazy, man. I used to love. Did anybody else used to love those games back in the day where, like, even though they were like kind of crazy, where you had to use a guide, like they were still awesome. Remember those days? This game, I got through most of this game without a guide, uh, but there was like just a few parts that I needed it. Master Spellbook. Uh. Uh. Okay. Is the audio is the audio and everything okay too? Let me um. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Hopefully that's not too loud, but you need to be able to hear like the music and stuff too because this game has great music. Audio is beautiful. Uh, I did turn it up, so if I need to turn it back down, let me know. At least it's turn-based, so I'll be able to. Yeah, the... Oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay, he's right there. All right, let's do this. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. We got the Rat King. How much did he do? Okay. Uh, he just hit me with something. I think he silenced me. Yep, he cursed me. Um, cool. Sweet, thank you. Okay, asphyxiation. Uh, I don't think... I, he's probably immune... To, uh, what's up, H? Uh, let's hit him with some fire. Okay. Uh, he was immune to that? He was immune to fire? What's he... What's he immune to? Uh, razor... Fire damage. Okay, no. I did set him on fire. Good, good, good. Uh... Okay, we're good. Uh, let's hit him with some lightning. Yes. Uh, put on the shell for defense. You have kind of like a tank character... Like, there's a lot of different characters in... Holy shit. What the hell was that? Good god. That, that was like 20 attacks. I got some counterattacks though. I got some counterattacks in there. Okay, we're good. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I don't remember if this guy's ranged or. Interesting. Do I need to heal anybody? Just to play it safe, let's heal. Yeah, he's he's not too bad. He's he's a baby boss. <laughs> I love that the guitar noise. Uh, we're gonna taunt. With this dude. Thank you, Belramia. Appreciate you, man. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, this character should be pretty strong with attacks. We'll go back to a melee. Yeah, melee was a little bit better. They did have fun with some of the sounds. Yeah, you noticed that. What up, Janek? Last night. Yeah, the. Uh, um, oh, easy shot. Uh, let's do asphyxiation. I don't think. He's control immune. Doesn't say poison immune, so. Damn it. Um, what is this? Stay sharp. Okay, let's do some uh, some buffers here. Uh, easy shot. Shadow strike. Ah, oh, come on. Fireball. Fireball. Thunderbolt. <laughs> no, I, I mean uh, 
Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Okay. I think I almost got this guy though. Uh, kind of working towards them randomly. I just have a list of games. Oh, snap. Okay. Ah, uh, five dollars from Bell Ramio. Thank you so much, man. Five euros. Thank you so much, my friend. And thank you for, uh, for helping me in this. Uh, let's heal this person. Um, that was a fun... You got... I'm, I'm happy that you get to see a little bit of like what this game is like and there is so much variety there are so many levels in this uh, so many enemy types and this game constantly one of the things I love about this game is you can change your stats like like you can spec in several different ways um, but then you can also change them uh, at any time so if you're stuck you can uh, <laughs> yeah if if you're uh, if you are stuck, you can just change it. Let's do what's heal all party members. Underground game cat. Elite name squad in the house. Let's hit him with some firestorm. <laughs> Bam. All right. We've almost got him dead. He's only got 100 HP left. That attack is crazy. Uh, but I've got some guys doing counter chance. Um, I'll show you before, before we move on to the next game, after I beat this fool. Uh, I'll show you like just a quick just real quick run through of like some of the the stats and stuff like what the customization looks like Lot, Lots of loot in this game Knights of the round <laughs> 20 minute cutscene <laughs> Yeah, you don't uh, okay Nick Milo has requested a special so let's uh, Let's see here which one which one are we gonna use Wind combo, no. Sun combo, upper world, underworld, portal. T okay. Uh, we'll we'll do a fire damage sun combo here. Bam! Should have stayed home. Killed him with that. So you do have like these specials that that build up and stuff, um, just like that. Uh, Rodrigo si Simons, thank you so much, man. Simons, Merry Christmas to you as well. So I got some, got pestilence. Oh, I got like a special axe. Thanks, Rodrigo. Um, and boots of magic. So I'll show you real quick before we head back what the uh, what the inventory looks like. Do, do, do. Oh. Okay, there we go. Um, this is this is a map. Uh, current location. I might have to go to. So this is the world map, actually. This is the uh, the entire world map of the game. All of these different sections are like these huge areas to explore and find loot and find optional bosses and enemies. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, no Man's Planet. This one. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Um, this is called Operencia, the Stolen Sun. If you like classic hardcore like RPGs, um, yes, this game, this game has a deep, like a lot of storytelling based off of Hungarian folklore. Zen Studios is from Hungary. Uh, they have like a, an American division as well that I've spoken to before. But the developers of this game were from Hungary, and that's kind of how they they formed the lore from it. Oh, I forgot. Uh, it was so gun club is one of the games uh, I plan on playing and yes under 10 bucks I I like that I've always liked that game but I think it's like 750 or something um, it has great sound design and you know the thought when you think about just sh shooting targets it sounds very boring but when you turn those sets into like World War two stuff and um, uh, Oh man, Monkey Island! Oh my God, dude, you have to play this then. This doesn't have like the comedy of uh, of Monkey Island, of course, but um, atop the world tree, we'll save. I tried to keep a bunch of these. Oh, we'll save over the old one. The movement doesn't bother me. Um, the grid-based movement, it it really it really doesn't matter. Like it doesn't 
it doesn't affect like the gameplay or anything like this is a dual shock only game so um but uh but yeah just as like i'll show you just one more area before we move on to the next game um see i i'm actually really happy about all the people asking about what this game is because that's exactly why uh i wanted to stream this game um i'll show you like an example what's a really what's a what's a uh, pretty looking area here great forest tomb of rika diva fortress uh let's go to the world tree real quick and we'll go to the uh the middle campfire i'll show you i'll, I'll show you like just what this how different these levels like vary and stuff there's so many there's castles there's forests so this is a new area um that you eventually get to <laughs> oh man uh it is a classic uh wayne it is a classic uh hardcore like rpg dungeon crawler um i'm gonna go to different section here world tree lower campfire show you what the beginning of this looks like is it maybe it's maybe it's the top part of this um all right let's teleport here let's see if this uh this works i may look different but my all right so these are all the characters you can unlock some of them have different strengths and abilities um this is like my created character um and then there's all these this is my tank here this is like dps uh this is a uh, attacker and healer then you've got like these these all these characters have like cool abilities and stuff like this person like transforms into animals and stuff um all of the uh, no problem all a lot of the recipes you have you, you find them but then you have to like kind of form this puzzle uh and then once you get the puzzle you get to keep those recipes forever or the items forever pretty much um, and they just have like a cooldown period during fights or like a certain assorted amount until you get to a rest point Here's like all the different loot and stuff. There's a bunch of different designs for different things um, But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try one more time see if I can get to Let's see upper campfire I'm gonna try this one more time to see if I, I can go to a different area with my bag will um, exchange new items for your gold. Just to show what up, Lou? Oh, I agree. Lake of Anna, first tower. Okay, I'm just showing some of the quick, some of the level designs real quick, and then we're gonna move on to the next game. Yeah, I love this game. Um, uh, here is this is like a cool. This is like one of the second levels or something, but it's like this dungeon that has this like underwater ceiling. And you look at this as just too cool the way this is and the music and just a lot of this is just really really awesome stuff man i i hate that this game kind of got overlooked um but i'm glad it's on the sale that i could revisit it because yeah i really really i think this is probably like a top 20 top 25 game for me um i mean just look at this level design absolutely amazing fantasy star yeah yeah i mean it is like a classic turn-based rpg thing like i said i wouldn't want every game to be an rpg um but i am definitely down with that one um okay uh next we're gonna try out uh another what i would consider hidden gem this is one of those that says uh might behave a little strange on a ps5 um are there actually any psvrs5 games yet uh, no PSVR 5 games yet, no. No, they'll be waiting for, uh... Dark Platformer Inside. They, um... They're gonna be waiting, most likely, for PSVR 2 to have PS5 VR games. Uh, this is made by Rebellion, who made, um... Who made the, uh... They're making Sniper Elite VR. Um, I felt like I was, like, in an Xbox menu for a second. That was weird. The way this... The way this menu looks is so much like an Xbox interface. Um, <laughs> what up, chap? All right, let's resume here. So this is uh, this is Battlezone. This is a pretty darn cool game. Uh, somehow still has like multiplayer a lot of the time. Um, let's go to. 
This brings me back to the early PSVR time. Oh yeah, this is a launch game and it's still really good. All right, we're going to deploy here. We're going to do just a few levels of this. But this is a four-player co-op game, um, which makes it really cool as well. Uh, and you, you basically have you have to use a little bit of strategy and stuff, and, and you drive around. But I am definitely a huge fan of this game. I'm getting a little bit of screen judder right now. It's kind of weird. Lethal Weasel! What is up, Wes? How's it going, man? Oh, yeah, thank you. This game is $3.50 right now. And it's, uh, I mean, $3.50 for this game is crazy. Yeah, absolute steal. And great multiplayer game. Oh, I haven't played it in a minute, so I'm going to have to kind of get a little familiar with it again. Um, oh man. For everyone who doesn't know, uh, Lethal has a channel called uh, Virtual Strangers. Uh, him and, and his buddy uh, do cover all VR. Worth Definitely worth checking out. I highly recommend you guys check them out. They're good peoples. And, and Wes always reminds me, he, he sounds like he's from my neck of the woods. So I love, <laughs> I love listening to him talk. Oh shit. Get out of here. Um, especially if you have like Quest and other platforms as well, you you would uh, enjoy his stuff. Is Mortal Blitz is Mortal Blitz on sale? Uh, the original Mortal Blitz? I don't know how I would have missed that if it is. Oh man, I mean, but yeah, who doesn't want to like roam around in a tank shooting stuff? Let's uh. Oh, there we go. Let's change our weapons. Oh, Mortal Blitz Combat Arena is free, yeah. Yeah, man. I right, enjoy what you guys do. Oh, now I've got the, uh... Now I've got the big guns. Let's go. This game really, uh... Is at its best with co-op. But... Yeah, the... There's a Mortal Blitz, like, rail shooter kind of time crisis... Oh, no, no, no. Avoid Rage Room at all cost. Somebody somebody did ask me what I think the worst games are. Um, I actually was kind of... Uh, I was thinking about doing a, a top 10 worst games of, of 2020. Um, this is this is Battlezone. Um, worst game ever, man. Worst game ever. I really hate... Yeah, I agree. Um, I think Heavy Fire Red Shadow is pretty terrible. Uh, Thug Life is pretty terrible. Um, there are some games that I straight up hate. <laughs> I heard games. Heavy Fire Red Shadow, I think that game is probably like one of the worst ever. Um, you know, there's a lot of games that were disappointments, but <laughs> then there's... Boxing Apocalypse is pretty goddamn terrible, too. Yeah, I agree. Um, the, the prey mode is bad. What up, Simon? Oh, man. <laughs> what up, chat? Thanks for, uh, thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah, I love this techno music and stuff. I am getting a little bit of judder, um, today, but last time I played, that didn't happen, so I think it might just be my camera set up. Oh, shit. Um, and... And there is, like, stuff you can upgrade. Hell yeah, Nikos. Thanks, man. No, I don't like Marvels, but I would never say it's, like, the worst game ever. I just think it's a bad platformer, like, or not a great platformer. Uh, it's too easy. I like uh, I like challenging platformers. This game is three dollars and fifty cents. That is ridiculous. Oh yeah, Ark Park, absolutely terrible. Oh shit, 
Hitman is on sale. I was going to check for that. Um, I'll be picking up Hitman, and I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably be streaming it in the Discord, uh, the flat version, for anybody that wants to uh, check it out. I want to get ready for, for Hitman 3. Um, and, you know, I only really do stuff on uh, the channel for PSVR. Uh, I suppose maybe one of my exceptions um, would be... Uh, would be like a flat game coming to VR um, that would make sense to stream, but I typically uh, I, I, I typically um, try to stick to just VR, PSVR. <laughs> uh, your game is canceled, Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played Hitman in forever. Yeah, I don't think I ever grabbed it when it was on Plus, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to pay the price for that. That's why you should always grab those games, man. That's why you should always grab those games. Uh, all right, I think we are ready to move on to the next game here. But this one is another one that I highly, highly recommend. Um, let's see here. Darkwing Chuck. The Game Quack. <laughs> What's up, man? All right. Yep. Oh, let me make sure this saves and went. Uh, okay, continue. But yeah, essentially, you have to make it... This is what the world map looks like, and you have to make it all the way... Uh, you have to make it all the way to the end right here. Um, or is this the uh, confrontation? And there's, like, boss battles and stuff, different perks you get. There's, like, a strategic element to, uh, to doing it. I love, uh, welcome guys, appreciate all you jumping in, man. Hell yeah, uh, everybody from, uh, No Man's Planet, uh, Discord, thanks for joining in, man. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, what up, mates? Um, okay. <laughs> you have a cringe PSVR channel that you don't want to start. Aw. Uh, you gotta have fun, man. You gotta start having. You you gotta do it just having fun. Um. So what's the deal? Matej Telvac, hello. Uh, yeah. Farpoint does not have an update right now. <laughs> you bet. All right. So, uh, oh, uh, genetic last me. That was Battlezone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twice. <laughs> My bad. Um, so, so check this out. This is detached. I think. Uh, let me first of all. Let me get the price. What is the price here? Um, price for detached is another seven forty nine game. Absolute steal. The experience of this game is like really what it's just all about, man. Um, I've I haven't beaten this game, but I've been through this first section like a million times, and I just have so much fun with it. I love to play this game standing. Um, I have an intense motion warning. Um, I have to give you guys an intense motion warning here. This game is... Uh, I play with the sim controls. And uh, this game is like crazy immersive gameplay. Um, I did not play Transpose yet. I will... I can download it uh, while we wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, five dollars with PS Plus. Thank you, David Moore. Okay, I think I, you know, uh, I think I beat through this section already. Um, I think we can go to the next section here. I, I did one of these one time. What up, Albert? All right, let's go. Uh, what are we? Hub status. I love. This is like the ultimate, like intense, like space astronaut simulator kind of experience. Uh, so good, man. Okay, power inverter. This is power inverter. Um, okay, power in inverter offline. Okay, so we got to get the power inverter online. All right, and that's basically what you do. Um, is you there is an outside to this, uh, which I'll show you in a sec after we get past this. There is an outside that you go to. Okay, so what we're gonna do here? Whoa, you got to be kind of careful because it gets kind of crazy. Current connected. 
Okay. Disconnected. Warning. Discharge, Discharge imminent. imminent. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get in here. Another Five, one you haven't played. Four. All right. Three. Check this out. Two. One. Just Boom. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's continue. I think we're gonna have to. Uh, uh, yeah, Squadrons. Uh, excellent game. Um, definitely sticking to more of the hidden gems here for this stream. I'm trying to, anyways. Oh, Got to be really careful. If that hits me, that's gonna send me flying. I do have a shield that I can activate, uh, which would help. Thank you, Nick Bulo. Thank you, sir. All right, what do we got here? I don't even know. I don't even know what's the floor and what's the ceiling. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't get. <laughs> no, I don't get motion sick. I break this game before I get motion sick. Um, oh, okay. So I am currently upside down. Let me spin. No, no. But I can tell you when I watch people play this game. Uh, it definitely made me a little queasy, but playing it was a lot less. Seraphim, what up, fam? Uh, somebody told me about that, and actually somebody messaged me about that, Seraphim. I am very much looking forward to playing Halo in VR <laughs> in dreams. Something that not even uh, Xbox can have, man. No, that's sweet. I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm, I've never been a big Xbox guy, but I think Halo's, I've always liked Halo. A um, couple, couple games over there, Halo, Forza, uh, some of those games are, are really, really good, and which is why they're, you know, so popular, but, um, okay, we're going to do this here, oh, you know what we have to do, so the object is going to be to break the glass, there should be a box floating around somewhere, where's this box, where's, where's the box, oh, there it is. Yeah, I just like the experience of this game overall. Uh, like I said, there's there's nothing that has had uh, close to the experience. I, I still think this is like one of the best. Even if you don't want to beat this game, I still think this is like one of the best experiences you can have in VR. Like the zero gravity, zero G um, environments and stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. Health and fuel is doing okay. And for 750, I mean, this is so worth the experience. Test chamber okay. Warning. Test chamber. Okay. We're going to uh, whoa. All my all my sci-fi buds out there, which I should have plenty, <laughs> uh, would definitely love this game. Okay, we might use ourselves as a human uh, human object here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's gonna shoot us. Shields active. Boom! Oh! <laughs> Chap with the donation! Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, dude. I'm, I'm really just happy you guys are all here chilling. Hope you're having a great day. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, I just really want to show off some of these games. Make sure you guys don't miss off, miss out on some of these amazing games on sale right now. Okay. Okay. Let's continue to explore here. This is so... See how just crazy this is? Luckily, I'm used to the controls by now. Okay. Bam. Ugh. You can definitely die in this game. That's the whole thing. If you smash into the wall too hard, like... Uh, yeah, you're toast. Oh, man. It just looks so cool, though. Great atmosphere. Great gameplay. Just great experience. I think some of the later levels have some issues. Oh, I got missiles here. Another one pound. Thank you so much, man. Yo, what's up, Julia? Oh, I love transpose. Oh, we got to go back and shoot this again. We got to shoot this again. We're going to back up. We don't want to shoot ourselves. I love transpose. It, it gets pretty difficult. It's kind of a mind-blowing game. Um... <laughs> okay, let's go in here. Let's be careful though. Oh, oh man. Do I. Okay. Uh, 
Lots of exploration. Oh, crap, crap. Oh. Okay, I think we made it out. Um, this is very much about like exp exploration and stuff like that. Exploration, you're kind of like restoring the power to like this whole uh, this whole area. Um, okay, did that count as bringing the power inverter back online? If not, um, you guys get the gist of that section. We'll oh, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll just go back outside. Oh man, I love it though. I love it. This is just craziness. Like I said, you know, I I definitely this one is uh, definitely a little testy on your motion sickness leg, your your VR legs. Um, if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, it, this one might be a little rough, but I I will spin around as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, I would love to try that out, actually. Uh, you have asked the right person. Let me just get uh, outside again. Witness. <laughs> What's up, possible? Uh, okay, okay. Let's. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get back outside. Whoa! Oh God! Don't hit anything. Don't hit anything. David Moore, are you doing your death spiral? LOL. I'm doing the death spiral. It is time. So I didn't completely get that mission. Uh, com I didn't get that mission completed. Um, but we're gonna go outside and we're gonna go uh, spiral out in space. I think, um, yeah. Did you did you try this one out, Nick? Did did you get uh, did you get sick from this game? I think, I think you should definitely. Um, I think you should definitely have you some VR legs before attempting this game. Yo, another donation from Chap. Dude, thank you so much, man. Chappy Gaming Live. Thank you so much, man. You on Twitch? Where can I check you out? Alright. Alright, here we go. This is what outside looks like. Check this out. Okay, we're gonna just, we're gonna basically just spiral out. Keep going. Donatello! 999 donation! Okay, before we fly out into space, let me let me check this donation real quick. Look at this, guys. Woo, look at that. This looks so awesome. Chappy, I'll check you out on Twitch, man. I'll be sure to shoot you a follow. Thank you, man. Um, okay, we're about to... We're about to do some craziness and get out into space here. Um, let me just see what this donation was real quick. Happy holidays all. Thanks for watching our dude PSVR Underground. My dude. Thank you, Donatello. Toss me Ninja Slice. All right. Uh, let's head towards uh, said random planet. Okay. Okay. Battle zone absolutely worth worth the... Uh... Okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to go... We're going to go as fast as we can. Uh, I'm going to put my shield on. It should protect me for a little bit. And we're gonna we're gonna spin out. Okay, this is when I realized that my uh, VR legs are pretty good. <laughs> we're going into another dimension. Look at this. Oh man, I love it. This does uh, eventually kill you though. Oh god, we're gonna we're gonna warp into a black hole. Woo <laughs> Oh man, look at this. I love it. No oxygen. Oh, uh, no oxygen. Ah, uh, did it? Yep, it gets. Look, the screen's even starting to warp a little bit. It's gonna kill me eventually, and then it it might actually. Look at that! It's changing directions. <laughs> Woo! Uh, this is detached. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round. Oh, that's great. 
I actually did that one time and I broke the game and and uh, they fixed the bug because the game just couldn't handle it. I thought my I thought my PS4 exploded. <laughs> You're getting hypnotized. Oh, I love it. Oh man, <laughs> what up, secrets of? Oh, that's fantastic. And he's okay. You're dizzy. I'm so sorry. It had to be done. It it had to be done. I was playing that standing too. I recommend, I recommend playing that standing. It's it's a uh, it's a nice uh, experience. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get my uh, time travel. Uh, we're gonna go save JFK. All right. Let's do this. I'm gonna turn my. Uh, I'm going to say uh, turn on my. Um, move controllers here you guys are so generous today man thank you so much simon with the two donation thank you so much man appreciate you dude all right we're gonna play a little quick round of rush um good stuff here need to shoot me follow two pro t4 hr seraphim 190 you just got back to 1984 <laughs> 19 we're in 1984 i got you simon uh, i do have a twitch account i don't i you know i use it just for watching other people and supporting some uh some friends so yeah all, all you guys uh <coughs> i got you okay uh my left move controller might be glitched let me fix that real quick i love the splash screens that some of these games have okay here we go <laughs> that was fun, man. Super chat us how you donate. Simon Perrin. Uh, let's see here. Hell yeah, man. Okay, now I should. Uh, I'll find out in a second whether or not this game is uh, also great for multiplayer with friends. Um, I don't think it has a very strong player base, but if you get some friends together and play this game, uh, it's so much fun, man. It has like one of the best lobbies ever, which you're about to see. Uh, let's see, where's my, my left hand, what's wrong with my left hand here? <laughs> my left hand has an issue, uh, let me turn the controller off and back on. I'm going to turn off the, uh, DualShock 4 as well, because I want to have my hands here for the more immersion. Uh, turn off my other controller, and this is, uh, Rush VR, of course. Uh, left hand is broken. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, this should fix it, hopefully. Uh, come on, there we go. Ah, it's still freaking out. <laughs> this is what happens when you sleep on your hand for too long. <laughs> okay, so while, while I... Uh, oh yeah, sweet, I've got my nice little wingsuit here. I like how like when you walk around too... Like, I'm stepping, and it steps with me. Uh, it's pretty cool, and you can make, like, hand gestures and stuff. <laughs> what up, Jason? What's going on, Jason, bro? And Tim? And Martin? Um, and then there's all this, like, random stuff in here, too. Uh, I didn't look at all the flat screen games in the sale, but I'm definitely... Uh, there's, there's some. No Man's Planet! Thank you so much, man. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my left hand to work here. Merry Christmas to you too, man. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to everybody. Um, good times, man. Good times we're having here. Uh, if I could just get my left hand to work. <laughs> All right. Come on. If my hand doesn't work at this point, then I'm just going to... Hey, look at that. Yeah, let's go. It works. It works now. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Uh, no, those are bots. But when you when you're hanging out here in multiplayer, um, you uh, you can actually have everybody full IK where you can see the bodies and stuff. Um, <laughs> Seven dollars uh, and then six dollars on sale, man. Absolute must have for this. Uh, you can shoot each other with these guns while you're like waiting in the lobbies and stuff. It's pretty funny. 
Uh, I like to mess with the, the cans of Coke, make them levitate. <laughs> There's so many like interactive elements in this lobby that make it uh, incredible. But there's a game here. Don't worry. There's a game, and we are going to take a look at this game, and uh, and and I'm going to show you how that works. I'm doing. There's tons of different um, locomotions options for this too. Um, let's do free flight. And we're going to go to the latest level that they added. Um, let's see here. Time of day. Oh yeah, pilot wings, good stuff. Um, okay, so uh, let's uh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, and when you finish levels too, um, they uh, there's like stuff to do at the end of races too while you wait, or if you like wipe out and crash, uh, you'll it'll send you to the camp. There's like a camp that you land in at the end. This game is when I realized I really wanted like SSX VR. All right, look, let's let's try to not fall into the lava, shall we? Um. All right. Hello, balloon. All right. Let's do this. Firewall lobby needs soda cans. Yeah, I missed. I do miss the old firewall lobby. Um. Where, uh, where you could actually, like, um, ooh, uh, let's try to get this one, where you could actually, like, interact with stuff, oh, okay, I messed that up, I think I'm on look, um, this is what the, what the thing at the end of it looks like, and, like, you have superhuman strength, <laughs> uh, let's replay that, I, that, okay, all right, <laughs> All right, this time I'm going to start by actually going over here first. Uh, you know what? I want to get, well, let's, let's try to get it. Let's try to get it. I've already gotten all these. That's actually how I got this suit. Uh, what am I missing here? Uh, let's try it one more time. Maybe you're just supposed to die when you get that one and then restart. So we're going into the lava. Go into lava. Uh, not. <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, I'm I'm not streaming every game. I'm streaming. Uh, woo! This is uh, Rush VR. I'm a I'm a huge fan of this game. This is just the free flight mode too. Um. But, uh, but yeah, this is like a wingsuit racing game. Really makes me want a snowboarding game. Yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. I love this game. Um, I've played it quite a bit, actually. Uh, and yeah, like, I'm doing the free flight, um, which, you know, you, it's basically like free roam, except there's collectibles. And if you get all the collectibles, you unlock different suits. That's how I got this suit. Uh, special design suit and you do have like a boost the closer you fly to things um, the more that it whoa the more boost you build up and then you can boom you can boost like this and then if you stick to it if you stick to the ground and stuff it actually keeps your boost going and that's kind of like how you win later on yep uh, yes we are getting um, powder VR I don't know, but as soon as Dreams, uh, as soon as Dreams gets the multiplayer update, uh, I will be, um, I will be adding multiplayer to uh, Dream Borders as well. Absolutely, uh, have some multiplayer snowboarding on that to keep us o to hold us over. Woo! Triangulator, my dude. What is up, man? All right. Steep in VR, yes. Yeah, these levels are dope. And I'll show you... Uh, okay, so this is what the ending looks like. Boom. Okay, you deploy a parachute, and then you can, like, land. What up, Braxton? <laughs> Fly by night. Woo, let's get close. Oh, yeah, right into the campsite. Whoa! Boom! Nailed 
it. Uh, yeah. Snowboarding games are fantastic. Um, extreme sports in VR is just, to me, that's just like a no-brainer. Like, there should be skateboarding, snowboarding, just everything. Um, everything we can. Yeah, so good. <laughs> I hear you. Um, sales bad timing. <laughs> Time of day. Snowy. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, we're gonna go to we're gonna do race and a time trial, and then uh, and then we'll we'll go back to uh, the normal thing. Uh, do I have the music on or off here? Options, audio. Let's turn the music on here. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I should have had the music on for that one. That sucks. Oh well. Um, all right, we're gonna do for this one. Let's see. What do we got here? Snow. Does it tell me like at night as well? Okay. Okay. This is uh, this one should be a nice little challenge. Nice little challenge here. This is a snowy storm level. Should be interesting. But yeah, they actually did a major update to this game. Um, they added that whole molten lava area that was not in the game originally. It only had three areas. And they added that with uh, free flight mode with the collectibles. And it was a huge update for me uh, personally. All right, now we're racing. Whoa. Uh, now we're racing. If anybody would have jumped off right there, we would have all died. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right. This level doesn't have as good as music as the other one, but uh, I like a little bit of music anyways, though. I usually, this is a great game with Spotify. Uh, awesome, awesome game with Spotify. Alright, let's build up this boost. It needs dinosaurs. Does in every game. Ugh. <laughs> oh, woo! Oh, snap. I gotta, I gotta make sure I stay focused here. Alright, boost. Yeah, man. Fish laser battle royale. <laughs> All right, these guys are kicking my ass because I'm just having just too much fun, just kind of cruising around here. Ugh. This is uh, such a good game, though. Such a great concept for a game. Uh, let's get the. Come on. Okay, sweet. Got my boost full. Let's find a good spot and let's hit it. All right, now we got the boost going. If we, if we stay low to the ground, we can uh, keep our boost going. All right. You do kind of have an advantage taking the high ground. Um, you get wheeled off on a stretcher. Uh, I think they're trying to keep it to like having a good time instead of like, oh, that is dark. <laughs> We lost one. We lost one of our flyers. <clears throat> ah, dreams so good, man. Absolutely obsessed with dreams. Oh damn! Come on, boost. Uh, at least I'll get second place here. I stole second at the end from Lily. Hooah! All right, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do a time trial. <laughs> uh, I love it. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, so many good games. Like I said, I'm trying to cover all the hidden gems. So many good games on the sale, man. And these are just awesome. And dirt cheap. Okay. <laughs> you get to see your funeral everything. Alright. Let's do score challenge. We'll do this one. Okay, let's, let's jump. Go. I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright. Nice, yeah, I gotta check out all your guys' uh, VR stuff you got going on. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So this is the uh, the, the score attack. You, you try to hit these targets with, uh, with different um, points all around them. 
Oops. This is like the Aztec kind of planet, or Aztec level. Alright, let's go. Uh, oh, that's good. Yes. I mean, to me, this is like why you have VR, right? Like, taking a game like this and putting it to VR is... Uh, uh, whoa, that was close. Uh, boost! Although, I don't think time really matters here. It's a time attack. Yeah, I would never do this shit in real life. That's for sure, but I'll do it all day in VR. Like, with all the bravery. <laughs> like, I was the bravest person on the planet. Uh, let's get, uh, let's fly a little close to this wall. Give it a little boost. Get a little closer. Build up a little bit more of this boost. I don't want to miss this, though. Can we go under the bridge? Oh! <laughs> that was crazy. Alright. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you no, know, you're absolutely right. If I had like one day left to live, yeah, I'd go do this. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Oh yeah, major SSX vibes. I hope that uh Powder VR. There is a Superman. Uh, there is a Superman outfit. One of the costumes. Oh, I'm standing up without falling over. <laughs> no, I'm definitely uh, standing right now. Standing with my arms out. Boom. Good stuff. Oh, thanks, man. I use a I use a capture card. Okay. <laughs> Lang no, I wanted. I have like a reclining chair. I would have loved to uh, to have like a reclining chair or something. Uh, I would love to like lay on my stomach on a chair or a table and play that. Uh, absolutely. Um, because there's so many different control schemes too uh, that you can do, and uh, yeah, it would make it. Uh, pretty easy so um let's continue here we're gonna check out apex construct in a minute um but first let's do some stealth let's, let's get a little stealth action here this is a game that uh i've when it when, when it launched it was a complete disaster um but after like several updates and when it's like when it drops to the price it is right now 11.99 uh, I'm a big fan of this game, and I do recommend it. Um, it. You know, it's not perfect, but trust me, like, it has... If, if you play this game with, like, a stealth approach, uh, it's amazing. It's got some really, really cool things in this. It took a long time for them to... <laughs> it took a while to, uh, to for them to get it updated, but they finally did. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, I've got an Elgato uh, HD60S is my capture card. I know uh, a lot of a lot of people ask me that all the time. Yeah, that's the one that I use. Um, we're playing standing still. Uh, I got a couple controls to remember in this. Um, let's go to challenges. Okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna we're gonna stretch. We're gonna start out with some. Uh, let's see, Intel climbing. We're gonna start out with some climbing here, and. Uh, New, new, new. These are all new, which is cool. Um, deploy. We're gonna we're gonna get warmed up. Get a little stretched with some uh, climbing. All right. Ah. Ah. No. Ugh. I don't know what is that. Hold on. Let me see what this is real quick. Is that something I can grab? No. Okay. Oh, there's like something crushing up there. Wow, okay. Uh, run, run, run. Ugh. Sacred Grove. What's up, man? Uh, what's the crouch button? Crouch button. There we go. Uh, let's, let's, uh, oh shit. Okay. 
Don't want to stay in there, that's for sure. Okay. This is why I wanted to do a warm up so I could kind of remember the controls. This is a fun game, but I have trouble playing it as a stealth game. Yeah. Try to kill all the bad guys. <laughs> oh shit. Hello. What up, Durban Brown? I had to bail. I had to. Bruh. There's the. There's the. Is that. What is that? Holy shit. Oh my god. Game has the best climbing. Oh shit. Um, to the top. Oh, I got crushed. Um, to the top probably has uh, the best climbing, I would say. Uh, that game is like a giant jungle gym. Uh, it's actually a really big game too, and it's only 20 bucks. Uh, definitely a game uh, I've loved for a long time. Uh, okay, let's do this. We're gonna do this, and then we'll get to the stealthy stuff too. Oh. <laughs> oh. No! Damn it. This obstacle course is hard. <laughs> Definitely, definitely so good. Like a really amazing jungle gym. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Okay, we should be safe right here. Let it pass. Go. Yeah, it really is. Uh, uh no, this is Aspire 1. But we are definitely going to be looking at Apex construct as well. Let's get in here. <laughs> ah! Oh man. I got crushed. Where am I going? Uh. I guess we're going that way. That's what it seems like. Now, ever since the assimilation update in this game, um. I've definitely been a, a much bigger fan. Look at this. This like whole obstacle course thing. Um, this is just challenges. The challenges are what I really like in this game. Um, because they really are focused. And it's like one's just action. One's just stealth. And I really feel like that's kind of where you get the best experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh. What up, Hector? Oh man, tons of good deals. That's going to be, that's essentially what this whole video is. Um, except I'm covering right now most of the, uh, the, the lesser known hidden gems and best deals. Um, but there's like 70 games on sale. Uh, Brian is working on a video right now over on PSR Without Parole that will have a full breakdown of every single game on sale and uh, will give you like a mini review. Um, of course, you know, him, his and I's opinions are not always exactly the same. Um, what the hell? So, you, we might say different things about certain titles, but uh, for the most part, we, we do like a lot of the same stuff. Am I supposed to run and jump here? Oh, and that, what is that? That is cool. Uh, <laughs> 30 seconds. Uh, I'm not going to make it. Ah, I've spent too much time dilly dallying, but this is this is the last challenge, so I, I imagine it's uh, challenging on purpose. Uh. Oh, hell yeah! Sacred Grove, <laughs> Christmas shopping. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're listing all of these off. That's true. That's true. Uh, and we mostly agree on the same games. Just some, some are different. All right, let's do some of the stealth stuff. I'll show you some of my favorite here. Um, some water I did too. My mouth keeps getting dry. All right. This is one of the cool things. I'm going to have the voice on. Make sure I'm not muted here. Um, let's do uh, let's do this one. Deploy. 
This is like one of my favorite levels because it reminds me of Shadow Moses so much. Uh, I love how much this level looks like Shadow Moses. Uh, you got little cameras on your hands. I've got him tagged. <laughs> KFC console. There, that is too funny, man. I don't even know what that is. What is that KFC console? Is it like just a, a chicken fryer that looks like a gaming console? Freeze. I use my snake voice. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll try to do it when I say freeze, though. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's a uh, that's a slowdown. Uh, let's tag him. Yep. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, he saw me. All right. If you get if you get noticed here, uh, you lose. Shit. A PC with a chicken warmer. Freeze. Yeah. Let's go. Ven, nice. Hell yeah, man. Thank you so much, Lethal. All right. Okay. Where's he at? Oh shit! There he is. He saw me. Okay. Is he still coming or not? Oh, shit. Uh, I don't think so, really. Freeze. 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 Freeze, sucker. Freeze. There we go. I even tried to add sucker to the end of it. Oh, shit. There's a guy coming. Ooh, get up here. Freeze. Uh, uh, how did he not see me? Freeze. Freeze. Okay. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do my voice like this. <laughs> uh, he wasn't hearing it. Okay. He's like, I hear something grumbling, but I don't know what it means. Uh, okay. We gotta make sure we don't get caught here. Uh, how we going? How do we want to go about this? Where is? It? I feel like there's somebody else I'm missing here. Okay. Two minutes. Let's go. Two minutes. We can do this. <laughs> Back to patrol. Freeze. Ah, oh, shit. Of course the last guy saw me. Huh. Interesting. I want to show a different level, so let's do a different one. Uh, I love this, though. Those are those are really some of my favorites. Um, the hold up thing. Hold up. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Like I said, I love how this game was definitely inspired by Metal Gear Solid. Like, it's nothing really like it. Uh you can't really compare it directly, but um, they do use some things that are kind of similar. Freeze! Okay. See anyone over here? I don't see anyone here. Oh, there's a guy up there. Uh, okay. No man's oh shit. Uh, Rockstar is working on a VR game, yes. Shit. Shit. I'm not familiar, as familiar with this area. Okay, let's hide behind here. Uh, I think you can use these. I think you can throw these as like a noise distraction thing. Back to patrol. I think. Oh shit. Let's do another round. 
Anyone else got anything? Go, go, go. Freeze! Okay, who else we got? Freeze! Shit. 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 Freeze! Sweet. Okay. I'm sure uh, time's gotta be running out soon. <laughs> 90 seconds remaining, we gotta go. Okay. Come on. I gotta beat one of these. Uh, come on. Let's move, move, move. Freeze! Ah, oh, what the? What? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> okay. I'll do that one more time because I want to beat one of these. <laughs> there is like target practice and stuff too, shooting and stuff too, but I think when this. When you do the stealth in this game, is really the best. He heard me hitting the ground. And also, I think he heard me running behind him right there. Um, okay. That's why uh, crouching is a thing. All right, let's do this. We're, we're beating this this time. Freeze! Uh, I feel like going this way might actually be better. Really shouldn't I shouldn't change the formula. Ooh, there's a guy right there. Let's do another round. Whoa. Oh, somebody saw me. Shit. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try the same thing again. See, this is what I like though. I like being like you have to be stealthy. That's what makes this mode so fun. Nice little challenge. Nice design to it. Freeze! Freeze! I really wish I could talk like this. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, he's triangulating. Uh, snake Batman voice. <laughs> Where's Rachel? Where are the drugs going? Swear to me! Uh, sorry, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Shit. Uh, is he coming this way? Ah, oh, shit. I keep forgetting. I need to... S I think I... <laughs> Stop right there, criminal. Son. What up, uh... What up, man? <laughs> I keep running. I'm sorry about that. Freeze. Try and get there. Get back to work. <laughs> this is your boss. You've been caught. Slacking off watching PSVR Underground. Oh, man. Okay. Can do this. We're going to beat this. I have to beat one of these. Just stay uh, stay crouched. Okay. <laughs> what is that? I heard somebody over there. Thank you, Mark. Freeze! Sweet, I got him that time. Thank you, God. Okay. Gotta get back. Ah, okay. Gotta do this. Let's see which way he's facing. Resuming patrol. He's facing this way, which is not good. <sighs> Shit. Blood and Truth on PS5, nice. Okay. Let's hurry before this guy turns around. Freeze! Okay. Okay, we're, we're making good time here, I think, too. Uh, he's making, like, beatbox noises. I hate this. Back to patrol. Let's see. Is he gonna be able to... Is he gonna... Hit? Don't hear me. Don't hear me. Oh, thank you. Freeze! Whoa. Okay. Okay. T time's gonna be running down, but we've almost got this. Okay. Uh. Wait. Okay.
Okay, sweet. I was gonna run and jump, <laughs> or try to jump. Where is this guy? Oh shit. Seconds. Anyone else got anything? Freeze. Okay, okay. What is he doing? <laughs> okay. Go Time's on. running out, so I gotta hurry up here. It's gonna be close. Where is he? Better get back. Come on. What up, DJ? Merry Christmas to you too, man. Thanks for joining. God, he's right here. Shit. Shit. Okay. Okay. We, we got this. Merry Christmas Day. Okay. Stay fine. Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't able to beat any of those. We got to move on to the next game. You can see that's awesome, though. Uh, I thought I had that one. I cleared those before. Um, so I'm a little mad I didn't beat that this time. Um, okay, but let's, uh, let's check out some Apex Construct. Meow, meow. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, they got me. They got me. Um, but, I mean, hopefully you still saw that that's pretty cool, pretty fun stuff. Scoby Man, the game pad. Merry Christmas, folks. Scoby Man, Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you, uh, thank you all, all you cats for jumping in, man. Hope you're having a, a great day. Hope you've had a good week so far. Super Galaxy, um, Blood Super Galaxy God Star. Love that name. Um, <laughs> uh, Rush of Blood was a free PS Plus game a long time ago. Um, so perhaps uh, standing. So the cool thing about this doing this continue kind of thing is like I can unless everything's dead hopefully not everything is dead on sale for five dollars oh thank you so much five dollars David you're, thank you for staying on top of that because that was like something I was doing the entire time and I, and I forgot but um, but yeah they uh, five dollars for this game I think five dollars for is an amazing price for this game if um, the only people that are gonna be deterred from this or if like the pacing is a little bit slower paced, but there is like some good action, some exploration, lots of story. Um, so there's stuff that makes up for it, but the pacing of this game uh, is a little on the slow side um, that might deter some people. Um, but all of these, let's see, pieces of the mother's domain fracture into the dark. I, I don't know exactly what areas these are use the overcharges um, and finish the fight completed one completed five um <laughs> Diki Diki going out um let's see here uh, I missed that comment sorry I'm, I'm looking at it right now um just got the miss the Hoover. Uh, this game is like f five, seven hours. Uh, I'm I. I well, Rush of Blood demo is free. Uh, speaking of, realize here they lie. Oh man, Andrew, you haven't played Here They Lie. I love that game, dude. Four, four or five hours, and uh, yeah, amazing game. Um, it's more like a run for your life simulator, but uh, it's a very fun run for your life simulator. Um, okay, this game, I want to say it was about like five hours or something. We're going to find the cloaking device core, bring an uh, access two card. We're going to, we're going to maybe just, let's just explore some areas. Bring a section three, a section three key card thing. Do we, do we already have that? Um, section one, let's see if we have. Four to five hours. Another section one. It might just give us a section. Oh, well, we already have a section one card, but 
it might just give us what we need. Um, there is like an upgrade system to this. Yeah, and there's also extra content. Um, I really just played through the story once. And, uh, great voice acting though, as you can maybe hear. Awesome voice acting. A dollar an hour. Okay, let, let's get to the overcharger back from. I wish I knew the shifted world. Okay, I wish I knew which what these areas were. There's also like a um, the Signia Cup on this where uh, you can like it's like target practice. It's kind of like a mini game thing. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I haven't played this in a minute, so it's gonna take me just a second to remember. Um, but let's see here. I, I love that. That's so cool. I mean, for a game in, made in 2008, uh, pretty damn good. Don't listen to her. She's just mad because she knows her time here is up. Uh. How do I bring out my bow? My... I imagine there's a button for the bow. That's a teleport. Uh, uh -huh. Did I grab it from my back? I told you. Bear with me. I haven't played this in a minute. <laughs> uh, I should be able to use it like right now though. There we go. Okay, so that's what I was doing. Yeah, the bow, the bow physics and stuff in this feel really good. Okay. Uh, you've also got other types of arrows. I remember when this came out, everybody was like, "Horizon." No, not exactly, but <laughs> still a very cool world for being fast travel's first game. Uh, definitely really good for a first game in VR, especially when you compare it to a lot of other ones. Um, it's like something here. There's like, there's like a little bit of a puzzle element here. Um, directory list files. Okay, so I have to find a code. Let's see. Uh, it might look a bit. Okay, it's actually pretty powerful. Directory list files, open file. Let's do a directory. D I R. Enter, um, storage, and then let's do open password. It's like password dot one. Open. Nope. Nope. Hold on. Delete. Delete. Password. Okay. Enter. I have changed my password after the last week's Casper. Um, uh, does it say what it is? And so since he seems to be unable to remember anything, I've also hidden it. He's hidden it in a note, on a note in the back of the storage room. So we gotta find a note in the back of the storage room. Okay. Uh, clarity is good. Um, the uh, graphic, the graphics in this game have always been pretty good, though. Um, this is not a, I mean, as you can see, it's a pretty good looking game overall. 5776. Seven, on a base PS4? I don't know. 74. <laughs> you, were, you were close, Mako. You were close. Uh, wait, what? 5776. Uh, 776. Seven, is that right? Boot up done. Access restricted. Um, forgot to five seven seven six. Okay, that's it. So, okay. I don't know what that did. Okay, like I said, a little slower pace of a game. My uh, readings tell me that the creature is carrying the ooh. overcharger. The creature has the overcharger. From us. I want to find some enemies. I want to shoot stuff with arrows. This is such a cool looking world, though. This whole place. Really badass looking. How's that clicking? Oh, maybe that's. Uh, is this where I came from? There is like a exploration. Gets a little confusing sometimes here. 
Here's another one. Okay. I mean, I'll show you a little bit of this world, and then, uh, then can I interact with this? Yes! <laughs> That's right. Sweet. Um, we'll, we'll explore a little bit of this world, try to find a little fight. Uh, and if we don't find any fights here, we'll just go to the, the Signia Cup and do some of the, the combat stuff. This game has good combat. It just I think one of the things I didn't like about it was that it didn't have enough enemy variety for me. Um, but it has a good story and a great world overall. But I was, I was mad that there was only like two, three different enemy types the entire game. Um, they're cool enemies, but, you know, it just would have been cooler with something else. Little little mix up, um, but these are the people making Wraith: Oblivion Afterlife, and like I said, if this was their first game, uh, it's pretty promising. The hell's in here? Yeah, I think what we're gonna do. Bam! Uh, I think we're gonna go to what is that? It looks so cool. I have no idea what it is though. Uh. Yeah, both feels fantastic. Uh, yes, moves. Uh, I think this is moves only for this because of the whole uh, bow and arrow and stuff. Anything? Anything? Um, what's this? No, uh, Marco, just, just, uh, that Windland 2 is still in development. <laughs> yeah, so there's definitely some, like, puzzle stuff going on here. I, I wish I could remember what, um, I wish I could remember what parts had, like, the most action, um, because I would have loved to play some of those, like, action moments, but it's fine. We'll do, uh, we'll do the Signia Cup, which is pretty cool. Some good, uh, some good. This was something that was actually added uh, later on. Um, when playing Zinnia Cup, start. Okay. Might take me a second. Uh, this has like a little bit of target practice stuff in it. it it's cool though. It's got leaderboards. I, uh, I'm a fan of this mode. But I think what makes this, I mean, because the bow mechanics itself, like I said, feel really Five, good. Four, three, two, one, go. Bam. And if you hit the, uh, if you hit it right in the center, you should get like an extra bonus of stuff. There we go. 100, 100, not 50. But you have to hit it right in the center. Where is it? Oh, shit. There we go. 100. Like a lot of the people that are like all the way up on the leaderboards, they hit. They got like all hundreds on these, like hit the center like every time, a lot of them. But like I said, the bone mechanics feel really good, so it's it's a nice mode to have. Uh, and then eventually it'll start throwing Five, some enemies at me. Out. Yes. Time out. Ah oh, crap. Yeah, this is good stuff. I like bow games. I like I like shooting a bow and arrow in VR. That was one of the Five, things I was originally four, excited about in three, VR, because two, I hate. One, I really don't go. like bow and arrow games uh, with uh, with a dual shock. I'm not a big fan. Um, some of them were good, obviously like Horizon and stuff. Um, but in general, I'm I'm not a fan of bow and arrows with. Uh, shit, where is it? Oh, with uh, dual shock. Um, GT Sport, did you play, did you go from an OG or, or a regular one? Because I didn't really notice a huge graphical d difference uh, in GT Sport. I, I know that it runs a little smoother. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, the bow mechanics in this are very good. Space Bam. complete. Yes, space complete. And this whole area, I mean, this whole st stuff going on, they got going on here looks pretty sweet. $5 for this game? Five, uh, four, three, 
from the Pro Two, to the PS5. One, go. Aim bots. <laughs> oh man, no, no aim bots here. Trust me. Uh, far from it. Phase complete. I like how they move you around this whole section and stuff. Mushrooms. They're good for you. Five, Lots four, of fiber. Three, two, You're a one, robot. go. Most likely to uh, frame rate. Most likely due to uh, frame rate entropy because they have to have either dynamic resolution or they have to have uh, a pro patch. I mean, I'm sorry, a PS5 patch. Um, otherwise, the game's locked to uh, ah, the game's locked graphically. But the higher frame rate or best frame rate possible can always can definitely make a smoother uh, thing. Yeah, all these games that I'm streaming today, these are all games that I would recommend unless you're just like really not a fan of the genres. Um, these are all games that I would recommend, um, kind of lesser known titles, um, <clears throat> unless they're just straight up not for you, which is fine. But if they look, <laughs> yeah, there, there are plenty, plenty of times to not buy these games, but these are, these are definitely the, the great times, uh, a great time to, uh, to play. Uh. Yep. I mean, they just, they keep hitting us with these awesome sales, man. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, this is one of the best sales I've seen all year long. Some of the cheapest that I've seen some of these games be, which is really nice. Um, let's see here. What is that? That looks like almost like a teleport spot. Ugh. These are the enemies that you find throughout the game. Ugh. Ugh. Little dodging mechanics. Get the doggo. Robo doggo. Uh, these are like kind of like spiders. Uh, I, I do like the, this part because it it throws both enemies whoa and targets at you. <laughs> Phase complete. <laughs> yep. Well, I always said stick to what you'll play, like. Sometimes there's so many VR games where you're like you wouldn't be sure until you played them. Challenge um, complete. Yes. Um, there's so many games that you know are really enjoyable that you just wouldn't know about um, until you play them. But like I said, um, this is definitely the, one of the best times. Yes. I'm gonna try one more level um, from the story before we move on to the next game. I'm gonna try one more level. Um, to see if we can find like a level with some action and stuff. Uh, continue standing because I really want to show you what the mix of the actual story mode and then the level stuff is like. When games are five bucks, just can't pass on. Yeah, some games. I mean, there are definitely games for five bucks you can pass on, but not games that are like quality, like not good games. <laughs> five bucks is, I mean, five seven bucks. These these are some really nice prices here. I like, uh, there is a data bank. This is like how you upgrade. Or no, no, this is the upgrade thing here. RP. I have a lot of like upgrade stuff here. Uh, <laughs> thumbs up. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find... Well... Gallery shooters. Well, Andrew, did you check out uh, me doing... Um, the device. Did you, the town square. I like the sound of this. Um, did you check out me doing Operencia earlier? Because that's a 30 hour game for $15 right now. And that game is fantastic. And it's, uh, it's DualShock 4 and you can play it seated. So it's not like strenuous. Um, you know, there's a lot of games like that are physical where that are like amazing and everything. But, but it's like, 
You know, sometimes you just want to chill and sit down and play too. Sweet. We should try and stealth the approach at first. It is one of these. Okay. Oh, sweet. My bow's looking all crazy. I wonder if these break. Okay, good. <laughs> she has some blind spots. Sweet. Oh, Legends of Grimrock. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes. And this is exactly the level I was hoping to find, too. The device. This was uh, kind of one of the more exciting, like, action parts of the game. Boot up sequence started. Please use manual control to power on system. Okay. So you have to... You grab these battery packs. Um... There is triangulation and air Can I climb up these? Off. There's some way to climb up here. The amount of radiance oh, maybe I just, uh... Stunning. See. Just be aware that as you start up the sequence, every everybody... Alright. Thank you, Julie. Thank you for dropping in. Happy holidays to you as well. Everything she has still pretty impressive. Yeah. I can't believe this game is was made as early as it was. I agree. Okay. So there's... Okay, there it is. It's got it marked. Uh, we'll use the teleport to kind of speed it up a little. Donatello, the scientist game cat. By Julia. All right. Hit the button. Good tracking? Oh, man. Um, yeah, I mean, you just want to make sure that there's no reflective surfaces behind you. Um, Vader... Um, yeah, man, I mean, I'd be happy to, uh, to help you. Ugh. Damn it. Come on! Squirmy little bastard. Squirmy. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, there are definitely some things you can do, uh, bastard, um, to make sure you have the best tracking. The best thing you could do is like join, if you join our Discord, I've got a link um, on my about page. And if you join our Discord, we got a whole community of people there. Um, also, I've got a thing, we can, you can like direct message me. Um, that makes it a little easier. Uh, shit, how do I think? Boom, got him. Ugh. Yeah, I think this game, you know, it, it didn't nail it with, like, the action set pieces and stuff, but this was definitely, I remember being one of my more favorite parts of the game because it was kind of, like, just a little bit more action than the rest of it. Um, uh, I like I like the dodging and stuff. Uh, they... They could have made like a really cool like bullet hell kind of mechanic to it. Next core, please. Next core. I love that guy's voice. Whoever did that voice acting, it's fantastic. But yeah, look at the way the, they designed this world though. The way it looks. I mean, you got this like waterfall. It's really pretty. Um, RP. Yes. It's a really pretty world. And it uh. Thank you, David Moore. Like, look at the way the buildings, like, topple onto each other and stuff. And the whole thing, the whole world is built that way. And it's just really, really sweet. Um, let me see. Thank you, David. Let me see what else is on... What else is on the list of games? Uh, yeah, that water is really nice. Okay. Uh, oh, we've got Witching Tower, um, which also, I think, is a pretty underrated game. Um, not, not necessarily one of the best deals because it's 10 bucks, but I was always, I really hate that this game gets overlooked because I really, really like this game. Um, it's not high up on, on the must have list here, but, but I think, uh, but that's why we're going to show you some gameplay so you can see what it looks like. Maybe it is for you, but I really enjoyed this game. It's only a little bit on the shorter side at like four hours. Um. So, like I said, not the biggest value, but it is a very quality game 
in terms of like the world, the art design, stuff like that. It's very beautiful. And I love this game towards the end too. Um, like this menu, this menu just looks gorgeous. Even the menu looks this amazing. Um, I guess I've got, I've got all the collection, all the collectibles and the stuff, the story, story stuff. Uh, let's see where I am right here. I'm doing continue. Gonna see if I can go back or if I need to restart a new game and start from the beginning. Cause I definitely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes. Ugh. <laughs> Whoa! What is this? Well, that's a tough question, man. Um, ten dollars on sale, nine ninety-nine. Holy crap! I feel like something is is off right here. That was weird. Did I die? Uh, that's a tough question, man. I mean, you know, if you have, it says Witching Tower. Daily Magic Productions. Are, are these the credits or is this the beginning of the game? I can't tell. It looks like the beginning. That's beautiful. Very be Um, It really depends, man. I mean, Octopus is kind of a little ahead right now with the hardware and stuff. Okay. This is the end of the game. <laughs> this is the credits. That That's, that's the entire game right there. Um... Can I skip this? Or do I need to go back to, uh... Yeah, let's go back to main menu. Yes. Um, Arcos is definitely ahead of the game right now with the newer hardware. New game. Uh, I don't really care. I mean, look, I'm sure... <laughs> look, there's... I think I think both... There's, there's pluses and minuses to both, right? Um... Octos has the newer hardware. PlayStation VR gets like these awesome exclusives, um, like full bigger games. Um, so it's like it's really a trade-off, um, and it's it's a it's a tough one, man. I mean, if I was a brand new VR user um, who had never had any VR before and I didn't have a PlayStation, like it'd be a no-brainer to go Oculus. Um, because it's just newer. It, it is. Um, maybe. Depending on the play style. Um, but I'm just like... I've I've, I've always loved uh, PlayStation. And I've, I, like, I've always loved exclusives. And things like that. And I love the, the riskier... The kind of more risk-taking games. That are like... They put a lot more into... Um, like I, I have to have stuff like my Skyrims, my No Man's Skies, my Hitman 3s coming up and like other games like that. Um, so PlayStation has always been the place for me. Is it true PSVR is 1080p with PS Pro? Don't um, the PSVR headset PSVR is, can do 1080 by something, 1080p and then, um, and and then uh, what the hell? Why is this controller? Yeah, less barrier to entry with Oculus for sure. Um, unless you already had a pro, like if you had a PS4 Pro or or a PS5. Oh, <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah, we'd have to wait for like a PSVR 2 for that. 10, 1080p 120 hertz that is correct there are the one thing I, I will always say though is never let anyone tell you that there are no games for this because there are a bunch of games for this um maybe stuff you're not a, most people aren't aware of which is fair you know it's not there's no gta vr yet and stuff like that um this is uh, gorgeous though man. I mean, you can't tell me there's no games when I'm looking at this right now. <laughs> this, is, this looks incredible. I do want to. I do wish I could skip it though. There we go. We're gonna play. We're gonna play like the first level of this game because it is just gorgeous. Okay, here we go. 
These shackles will not allow you to use the power of your sign. I see where my laboratory. Andrew's I'll say. find the roots of your power. Of truth, blood and truth, Farpoint, Rush of Blood. Are worth getting a PSV <laughs> what is this? Oh, people told you it was 720p? No, no, no. No. Definitely, definitely not. It, it like, some of the uh, games have lower... Some of the games have lower resolution because of the PS4 hardware. Um, like, OG PS4 hardware, especially. You could take this item... Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get this off. How do I... Yeah. Let's see here. I feel like something is, like, kind of weird here. Andrew C. Totally agree at Hartman's grad. Can't wait for that multiplayer Tetris patch. Oh, no. Oh! I just had to let go. Okay. Left and release. Yep. I'm going to change this teleport. I'm going to turn this off. I hate, I'm not a fan of teleport. I don't get motion sickness. Uh, aim at your target. Let's see here. There we go. Sweet. Ah! <laughs> There are some really cool characters in this. Um, Necrovision. Find what's hidden. Okay. Oh, okay. It wanted me to press this. Whoa. This game, I, I think that's what I love about this game, is like just like the art design. It's so it's such a stunning game to look at. Yes. Uh, hold left. Aim your head. Uh, what has a weak spot? Ooh, right there. Okay. This game is mostly a puzzle game. I think that's what it's... It has, like, some combat and stuff. Um, but the combat isn't very good. It's very waggly. It's it's way more about the... Um, it's, it's way more about the puzzling and the, and the kind of adventure. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shadow keep. Oh yeah. Ruh. Yeah, and there's like some cool stuff to interact with as well. Ah. <laughs> um uh, options, movement settings, locomotion type, uh, controller based, activate teleportation, no movement speed high. And smooth rotation. Bam! All the stuff we like to see in there. As, oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's bright. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple videos on Ace Combat. Uh, seal, uh, no, Skyrim VR is not really buggy. Um, they had... Ten years to, to make that game uh, less buggy and stuff, and they yeah no it's it's definitely not. Um, Same as vanilla Skyrim. Is this uh, let's see, Andrew I think there is like a. It's about as buggy as the flat version full moon face. <laughs> David Moore, as buggy as Skyrim flat. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, pretty much. It is a separate thing though. I mean, because it is Skyrim VR, it is a separate. Game. Oh, I guess I need to hold that down. Okay. Um, can we burn these? Yes. Okay. I've actually never encountered a bug in Skyrim VR. Not one. Andrew C. Uh, but I've got like 20 hours in Skyrim VR and haven't encountered anything game breaking. Okay, sweet. I can put that on my my waist here. Ugh. Okay. We've got to find a way to remove those shackles and use your power. Uh, is that one of the broken ones? Yep. But, but we're good. Okay, bring this back out. Shit. There's a dog. 
I, I keep forgetting it's toggle. Ugh. It's not toggle. Um, if you go to, uh, actually, one of our, one of my mods, David Moore, posted um, a link for the Discord. You can use that. Um, the, what the heck? It's ground, where's it growling at me? That's where he started from. But yeah, the art design and stuff in this is amazing, man. Uh, bones? This game is just stunning. It looks so good. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry, doggo. I, I want to keep one of those. I mean, that is one cute dog. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's some some tiny little bugs, maybe, but I never, I really didn't run into anything. But yeah, man, Discord has a bunch of people. It's where we talk about VR stuff constantly. Um, I keep not paying attention when you say the game name. What is this? No problem, Janae Blast me. It's, uh, it's the Witching Tower VR. Um, yeah, I mean... I feel like I'm on the right track here. Um, if I'm streaming a game and constantly getting, what's the name? Of, wait, what is this game? Like, <laughs> I, I feel like that's uh, that's good. I feel like that's what I was the whole reason I wanted to do this stream. Um, here it seems I have to press the right stone. Uh, okay, um, this was, there was a clue for this. Uh... Nobility, okay, nobility, greatness, and honor. King Arthur the Wise. Um, the Conqueror, well, it, that one says wise, so. The Serpent, let's go with the. Uh, How do you find the sales in the PS store? It's not as easy as it used to be. Yeah, man, the sales on the store from. <laughs> the sales on the store uh, from the app and the website are garbage. They're so bad. They really need to add the filters back and make do that better because yeah the the filters not having the filters is terrible. Um, the the easiest way is to do it from the um, from the PS5 uh, or PS4 or PS5 and just doing the filters and filtering like VR games. Uh, you go to the sale on the on the store from the console. Um, the Conquer, the Great, Furious. Did I did I actually press one of these? Look Still, it's got to be a clue. Okay, so we need a clue for this. Nobility, greatness, honor. The noble. Uh, the let's see, the great. It's got to be great. King James the Great. And. I've always had trouble honor on honesty bam let's go um i missed that question what'd you say Ugh. is is ps5 store no ps5 store is not like yeah they've never they've always had problems with the ps store um, but it does get better. It just, it's, there's always something. What is that down there? Andrew C. It's not laggy, but the layout's spooky. What is that? That's weird. Okay, let's go. Okay, this should be... Can I interact with these? The, the lighting is good. Look at the shadows on it. Ah! God damn it. I keep... <laughs> the bats. Uh... Guards handbag. Make the game cat how? Why would it be laggy? Don't make sense. It yet it sucks. Do I need to burn this? Uh, let's see here. Guards handbag. Where is? Let's see. There's a way to. There's a. This game has a really cool menu system. Um. Uh, not exactly. There was something down there. Did I? It's got something. Let's see here. Like I said, this is a puzzler, so there's like a little bit of stuff to figure out here. 
Um, do I need to look at this a certain way? I do feel like I do feel like there was like inventory or something somewhere. What am I not understanding here? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Duh. Okay, this is uh, pretty cool. It's in your bag. Store important important items inside. Um. Yes. Let's go. Nice Shadow Legend, yeah. Just double tap Sweet. <laughs> double tap. Uh, look at that. How cool is that? Come on. Oh. Bam! <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, anything else I can latch onto here? Yep. Good stuff. That kind of spooked me a little bit. <laughs> okay. But yeah, look at the art design in this game. Oh, so good. Urgh. Gotta be careful for bats. Bats everywhere. What is this? Oh, you bought this yesterday? Nice, nice. <laughs> it makes you want Bullet Storm, I know, right? Um, let's uh, put this in our inventory. I love that inventory on the on the wrist thing. There's some cool looking stuff here too. Look at this thing. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. Lots of cool stuff that this game offers. Uh, not definitely not the cheapest deal going on, the best cheapest deal, but definitely a really polished, pretty polished game. Uh, why would I free that bat just to have it attack me? <laughs> Declaration of War. Yeah, I just I'm. Such a fan of the art style of this game. It, this game is very much... I think uh, I think Shadow Legend is actually a very good comparison for this game. Um, it does remind me in many ways. But it's more like a gothic... It's more like a gothic Victorian Shadow Legend um, than it is a uh, like fantasy thing. Um, like... I love Saya. It's, it's more... More got like a little spookier vibe to it. I don't know what that did, but I'll take it. But I don't want to spoil too much, so I'm going to do one more thing here, and then uh, and then we're going to move on. Because, um, yeah, I, again, but tons of great-looking environments in this game. Uh, give me this. Give me this. Okay. What up, Dead Ringer? Put that away. Grab the... Oh, come on. Uh, alright, let's try that again. Good to see you, man. Okay, here we go. Uh, I get back. Yes! <laughs> Fix that right there. Uh. Uh, there's so much stuff chasing me. Uh. But yeah, something right there, obviously. Then another... <laughs> yes, perfect is definitely overpriced at that. But yeah, look at these like art pieces and stuff. Fantastic. Yes, I know. I know. Castlevania. I would love to have Castlevania. with Even with this whip and pull the whip. Whip, whip across, like, like whip stuff. I don't know. Swing, I mean, swing across things with this whip, with the with the uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, just the first, very first level of Witching Tower. It looks like this. Um, another game I do recommend. Lots of fun. 
good stuffs. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Um, nine ninety nine. Um, now, uh, we've got two more to take a look at here. Um, we've got Shooty Fruity. Yep, Gun Club is actually next. We've got Shooty Fruity and Gun Club. Um, I'm going to do, let me switch to that right now. Yeah, I grabbed, oh, no, not the PlayStation Collection. I want um, installed games. Do, do, do. Uh, where is Gun Club? Gun Club is fantastic. Uh, I like to do this game. I do this game a bit on, like, my Saturday Night Live streams. Do I not have it downloaded? I could have swore I had Gun Club downloaded already. Uh, yes, this is uh, this is PS5. Uh, no, there's no PS5 VR games yet. That's going to be uh, PS uh, PSVR 2. Well, this this is basically like a high, like basically a um, mostly a PS4 Pro with some extra loading screens. Uh, trip is terrible. I'm not a fan. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Now, okay. Now, I've been getting my butt kicked in this game, so I might not do the start with the hardest level. I might start with just like a little easier of a level here. Twilight Path is okay. Uh, what's the what's the price? Yeah. Um, it's like a PS4 Pro with, with some loading screens, with uh, faster loading screens. And, um, and uh, oh, this is on sale for $9? Yeah, Twilight Path is okay. Um, definitely would definitely a wait for like a really deep sale. Um, this, game will get you in the later this game will get you sweating in the later. Yeah, it gets pretty tough. Um, let me go back to this one. Let's see, Cherry Bomb. Let me make sure I have my my weapons and stuff here. Change. Wait, am I at the right place? Let's see here. Yes. I would love to. Let's see. Unavailable. Unavailable. Do, 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 do. Interesting. 60,000. I have 210,000. Uh, 478. Is that a minigun? 478. Uh, yeah, Simmons, there's, uh, there is a, oh, please enter, okay, sweet, is that a minigun that I just got, I think it was, um, sweet, uh, kind of 819, uh, yeah, there's Knockout League, um, and there's Creed Rise to Glory, um, let's see here. <laughs> um, Knockout League is very much like, oh, Box VR is a fitness app, um, too. Uh, Creed is like, kind of like the one that is usually the most popular. Uh, I'm a big fan of, um, I'm a big fan of Knockout League, though. Let's see, bam. Yeah, the Heavy Bag DLC is great. Uh, it's like Super Punch Out. Let's see here. Yeah, both are definitely a huge workout. Uh, earn 18, 18,500 juice. Kill six grapes with explosives. I didn't equip any explosives. Complete five trays. Okay, so this game is is always different. You're either like checking out groceries, 
This one is more like a food, like a, like a food mall thing going on here where I have to combine two different, uh, three different things here. Okay, let's just go. Um, touch to start. This is uh, what I would, oh shit, did I really just press that? Where am I? I screwed that up, sorry. Uh, let me make sure my tracking is set up here. I need to, uh, I actually need to adjust my camera today when I get a chance because it's been a little weird today. Um, definitely caused me a couple issues here. Alright, let's do this. Let me have... Yeah, any top list you guys ever want to see, let me know. Uh, I love doing lists. Um, there has to be, like, enough games for that genre, though, if that makes sense. Um, there definitely has to be enough to justify it. Okay, let's do this. I like the loadout. Now I've got the bombs anyway, so that actually kind of worked out. Kill six grapes, though. They have to be grapes with explosives. Okay. Hmm. So I have to save the, the teddy bears for the grapes. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. Let's make sure this... There we go. Okay. Alright. Oh, we're going to stock these guns while they come. Do, do, do. Got a green and a red. Anything coming? Uh, that. Green. Red. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. Where did my guns go that I stashed? Where are they coming from? Ugh. So the more you, the better you do with these two. Ugh. Ugh. The better you do with these, the better uh, guns you start getting. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> oh, there's a grape. I don't have any explosives, though. <laughs> Sophie! Hello! You as well. Thank you for joining. Ah. Damn it. Oh, you got this yesterday, too? This is not Gun Club. <laughs> no, this is Shooty Fruity. This is not Gun Club. I uh, didn't have Gun Club installed, unfortunately. A fruit smoothie bigler. Oh, you guys are the best. This is very hectic. It is very, very hectic. And it does get pretty challenging, but it is uh, it is really fun, too. The more you play it, uh, you get you get better at it. It just takes practice. I just don't play this game super often. Uh, I've tried to play it more lately, though, because I really think this is, like, one of the biggest hidden gems on the platform, period. I think it's one of the best games... Uh, one of the best hidden gems at all, like of all PSVR games. I'm gonna stop putting games or uh, guns right there because I feel like all my guns are disappearing. Um, power ups are enabled, sweet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here we go. Uh, double shotgun. Gotta make sure you don't shoot. Uh, ah! Ah, oh, did I shoot myself? Damn it. How much juice did I get? Yeah, it is. Um, what do I... Let me try this one more time. One more time. Personal top five. Wow. I think, uh, I think it's very, very good. I think it's like a top... I think it's like a, at least a top 30 game. I know that doesn't sound great, but I mean that in the best way. <laughs> yeah. Nihilus. Nihilus, Ryan. Happy, Merry Christmas to you too, dude. Thank you so much, man. And thank you for letting me know. Unfortunately, I can't see, uh, I can't see comments. 
the pomegranate. Yes. Uh, blue and no green, red. Ugh. Crap. Oh shit. Yeah, man. No, absolutely. Okay, I'm not doing good with the with the trays here. Yeah, for reals. Can't argue with getting a great game at the end of the day. Ugh. Uh, where my guns keep disappearing to? I really would like to to stash some of those. Uh, red, red. No. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> uh. Oh man. That got me. Uh, blue. Ooh, power up. Let's use his power up. Oh. Uh, I'm streaming from uh, a PC. It's uh, it's I'm, I'm my streams go through a PC even though it's PSVR. Um, oh, God damn it! Wish I could have gotten that one. Blue, uh. Uh. Try tossing. <laughs> you like the sounds of the fruits being blown up. Uh. Okay. Ugh. Get some. All right. Oh, yes, please. Ah, keep you. Ooh, power up. Yes, I need this. Oh, yes. <laughs> working retail. Yeah. This reminds me of working at the mall forever ago. Okay. Ah. I haven't gotten explosives yet. I suppose I need to, uh, I need to do more with the trays. <laughs> I was pretty, I was pretty chill. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> no, man. Uh, damn, almost dead. Damn. That one got me again. Yeah, that the pomegranate's been the death of me lately. <laughs> but this is uh, this is good stuff, man. Good stuff, um, indeed. Great, great sale. Um, well, guys, that is probably gonna do it, man. Um, Firewall Zero Hour is a great game, especially if you have a name controller. Um, but thank you guys so much for checking out the one. The one game that I thought I had downloaded but didn't uh, get a chance to was uh, Gun Club VR. That's another one I recommend. But these, uh, this was like a big run through of the ones from the sale that I would recommend the most. What up, snacks? Um, Operencia, Battlezone, Detached, Rush VR, Aspire One, Apex Contract, Witching Tower, Shooty Fruity, and Gun Club VR. Um, these are all like the hidden gems, the lesser known ones. Uh, that I would that I would recommend checking out. If you missed it, uh, go back and watch the gameplay on it, and, and I give you a little little of the inside info on it. Um, but thank you guys so much, man, for for coming, hanging out. I was I was really glad. Yes, very very gl glad. Um, but thank you guys for watching, man. Thank you for 
for commenting and chilling, hanging out, having some fun. Um, thank you for all of the, the donations so much, man. And if, if you guys want to continue the conversation, make sure you, you join uh, our Discord. Um, or you can always just leave comments if you have a question about a certain game. Feel free to always leave a comment on a, on a game, and, and I will definitely respond to you um, and, and tell you whether or not I think it's good or not. Um, but hopefully this was a good look at some end. So you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. We got Gamescast tomorrow on PSVR Without Parole. It should be a good one. Got some plenty of news to talk about. Um, so we will see you then, guys. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day. I will see you all later. Much love to you.